Megaton. Megaton never gets prettier. No, it doesn't. It does not get prettier here at Fallout 3. No, it, that it does not. It's just the same old sheet metal settlement it always has been. The same old song and dance. I almost called it a sheet metal shithole, but I, <laughs> I'm like, nah, nah. Compared to a lot of places in this, in this game, Megaton isn't that bad. So, the plan for this episode is we are going to make our way to, um... Oh, is that a mole rat? Eh, I don't want to yeah, do it. Yeah, don't bother. We're going to try to make our way down to, uh... Uh, Sierra's place. Yeah, the uh, new Coca-Cola Quantum Lady. Yeah, so we can give her her stinking Coca-Cola Quantum, or new Coca-Cola Quantum. Coca-Cola Quantum, huh? It's our Coca-Cola Quantum. <laughs> and uh, so we'll do that, and then uh, we'll kind of see where it heads, uh, uh, where where we go from there. I think we have our books on us, so we might pop by the library. There's a new Coca-Cola plant we might check out. So we have options. We have options. We're not going to be wandering while the wasteland with our thumbs up our butts, I guess. We could. <laughs> wouldn't be very entertaining, though. Nah, that it wouldn't. Yeah, we're just walking around here with 30 glowing bottles in our suit. It is kind of interesting where this inventory goes. That's a video game. It probably just turns into pixels. It's kind of like the replicators on Star Trek, I guess. Where the hell are we? Ooh, a mail drop box. No flower. Someone was mailing a basketball, apparently. <laughs> Make sure you put it in a box first. Nope. We're just mailing a basketball. Flated and all. Well, let's bring up our map, because I'm kind of confused on... Oh wow, we've uh, we're way off base. Yeah, we got we got a ways to go. It's it's oh it's way over here. Yeah, cause there's girder shade. Ah, that's oh holy fuck. Yeah, we got a ways to go. All right, this place is nowhere near where I thought it was. I knew it was out near the uh, west part of the map. Oh, a raider! How cute! Oh, how pedestrian. Oh, how would you like to be to be uh, have your Horribly mutilated. I'm not even gonna aim. Yeah, we're gonna turn you into a ludicrous Gibbs anyway. He had a nice mohawk though. Ooh, we had some bottle caps on him. Got a finger. Yep. Another one for the collection. Fairfax Ruins. And in the trash bins, there's some random ammo just hanging out. Yeah, we'll take it. Worst case scenario, we have to drop it later. Or use them. We could use them, I suppose. Yeah, you know, it's a raider uh, encampment. There's the horrible vaporwave scribble on the walls. Somebody's got a missile launcher. Who's even shooting at me? I don't know. Oh, that asshole with the, ro the uh, missile launcher. You go, Splody. Well, it looks like some of his friends are coming for a backup. Well, I hope they packed a lunch. Yep. I'm going to yeah, tear them apart. yeah, we're not doing a lot of tearing apart, unfortunately. You, on the other hand, you were tore apart in lots of little pieces. Oh, look at that. Ugh. It's like a, like a shower of raider guts. Yeah, there's that finger. Got your finger. Got your finger. Oh, got your finger. I'm going to put it on a string and wear it around my neck. This will serve as a warning to others. Well, Fa Fairfax Runes was kind of lackluster. Got some fingers. Yeah, I suppose we got a finger or two. And not lady fingers. Those are used in tiramisu. That's actually not that far down. Oh, that's a bunch of barrels. That's probably hella radioactive over there. Well, 
Oh, well, Fairfax seems like a nice, quiet place once you, you know you get past the raiders. Quiet isn't abandoned. I mean, after all, it's ruins. I gave it about ten thousand years. It'll be a tourist attraction. Okay, there's a barricade. Oh, this is that. Uh, this is where the outcasts are. Ah. Well, they're not shooting at us, so we can just pass on through. They're like, we're the outcast, me. Thank you for. Uh, oh. Thank you for breaking into our uh, our bunker. By the way, how's that Gauss rifle working out for you? Working out swell. Good to hear. Have a nice day. Thank you. Drive through. All right, up here. <gasps> Hi, Deathclaw. Uh. Whoa! That's why we have a dark gun. Ow! Ow! All right. I knew we had the shotgun out for a reason. Oh, Mr. Deathclaw, looks like you lost your legs. It's the Lieutenant Dan of Deathclaws. <laughs> Lieutenant Deathclaw, you ain't got no legs. Oh. Hey. Magic legs. Problem is, is Lieutenant Deathclaw ain't gonna get no le no legs because he's dead. Oh, it's a long walk, folks. It's gonna be quite a trek. But we got our trusty, dusty uh, dart gun in case any more of those uh, Lieutenant Deathclaws show up. Although that one kind of snuck up from behind. <laughs> What did I just say? <laughs> that was just coincidence, folks. <laughs> Rinse and repeat. He lost more than its legs. He lost his everything. Mole rat. Oh wait, mole rats are our friend. I forgot about that. Yeah, because we have the animal friend. We don't ever need that repellent stick. Why did we carry that around for so long? Because it was just there. Inconvenience, that's why we kept it. <laughs> it's a memento of our uh, previous adventures. But uh... There's a power station. But yeah, with animal friend, if I remember, it's... Yaogwai, dogs, mole rats. I think that's it. I think that's, yeah. It is a death clause. Death clause are like... No, I think it seems to focus on mammalian uh, animals. Yeah. The mammalian. That, that uh, genus, order, species, whatever you want to call it. I I've probably already been here. I think it's a class. Wouldn't know, not a biologist. The point is, is an animal friend perk doesn't work on everything, just some of it. Oh, I thought I saw the uh, saw red tick mark on the radar. Oh, it's an ant. <laughs> oh, how cute! What are you gonna do? Bite her butt? You'd be like, I'm nom nom, I bite your tush. I bite. I scared of no ant. You wanna bite your tushy tushy? Come back when you have a when you have. Ten feet tall and have claws, and we'll talk. They would talk. There is a radio tower in the distance, and I don't think we've ever been there. Yeah, name of the game, find all the radio towers. Uh, game, don't do that. I've seen another little mole rat. He's just like, hey, what's up? I'm a mole rat. Call me Rufus. Why, hello, dog. You aren't so vicious. 
They should call you a non-vicious dog. They should call you a, a, a calm dog. Yeah, a viscous dog. <laughs> a sedentary dog. A nice calm dog. Ooh, well, some, some went on over there. I see a bunch of tears. There is... Something. Well, we... Oh. Hmm. Oh, okay. We, we may have screwed up by going down here. Well, we can always go back up. Hopefully, maybe. I saw a little land bridge, it looked like. Yeah, it looked like a bridge crossed over it. Or, uh, should I say a... <laughs> nice, nice work, Bethesda. <laughs> it just works. All right, let's see if we can... I think it was up this way. Uh, trying to cross the rocks. Take two. Uh, so far, nope. Ah. Oh, maybe? Oh. Gotta be part goat to get up here. <laughs> yep. Yeah. There's a failed tower. I bet we can cross it here. Successful. Yeah, looks like a bunch of tires. There's a switch. Already been activated. All right, we have already been here. Oh, it's a wild goose chase. But, uh, -huh. uh you I know, we're I... almost a girder shade, or was... not? Yeah, girder shade. Yeah, because Jocko's is nearby. I know we've been to Jocko's. Oh yeah. We would drop that Jocko's a while back. I remember it was like, all right, Jocko's, I hate this place. And then we moved on with our lives. Mm-hmm. And now here we are back, and we are still moving on with our lives, because that's just what we do. Hmm. I don't know if we've ever found this place. That's got key. Yes, we did. It's one of the first times we ran into Death Claws. Yeah, that's what I thought. Vapel 66 power station. We found the Vapel. It's like Snapple, but with a V. <laughs> it's like Apple, but not as expensive. Oh, Dean's Electronics. Yeah. And some sugar bombs. And a leather belt, some stem packs. Ooh. That was worth a while. Seiko? Ooh, somebody was really into drugs. That would explain the leather belt. Shooting up opioids. Ah, the wasteland has an uh, it has an opioid ep uh, epidemic. Hmm, how fitting. Apparently, so do I. I can barely fucking say words. Well, you're trying to play and talk at the same time. I know. One would assume that I wouldn't have chosen a chosen a hobby like doing let's plays on YouTube, given this. Uh, can you sleep in the bed? Uh, no. Ah, damn it. I was like, yay, we can regain our health while we're here. But alas, no. Yeah, no switches. Whoop. Let me guess. Talon it's a ra it's a Raiders. Oh. Yeah, they had that weird scribble on the wall. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> You are on fire! Oh. Yeah, I guess I'm dead. I should just give up now. Nope, you... You three have met an unfortunate end. By fire! And now I will take your fingers! Your burnt, crispy fingers. So I can trade them for money! I was thinking the exact same thing. I'm the good guy. Yeah, we're the hero. We're the protagonists. Ooh. Thought the game was gonna freeze. Okay, up in the hills, far, far away. The one little duck with the feather on his back, he led the others with a quack, quack, quack. 
And then girder shades just on the other side of that house. Nice. Uh-oh. <sighs> Heal up. Damn it. Good call. It's an albino. Those things are a bitch. Heavy on the bitch. Uh oh. Oh, it's our friend the Yokoi! Ah, oh, sweet! I'm gonna let the Yokoi take care of it. And something. Oh, a sentry bot. And a sentry bot. Oh! Ow! Alright. Ow! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> and that, my dear, is why I told you to heal up first. <laughs> I wasn't expecting uh, the melee of. Uh, of our enemies to come out. Urgh. I thought it was just be one little red scorp, one al well, not one little, but one albino red scorp. You'd be on our very way, but no, they brought the whole, uh, the whole gang in town. Oh, why am I taking that? Well, you can only take one. That way, you can save space. Ooh, there's a puddle of goo over here. Probably something that we killed way earlier in a previous episode. What oh, the hell, boy? That's probably what happened to our young boyfriend. All right, Girder Shade, where are you? Should be just over this hill. Aha! Ah, there it is, under the, right uh, by the overpass. I knew it. Yep, another goo pile. It's nice to know that the goo never decomposes. Bud. All right, hello, Gerda Shade. How's everybody doing? Ah, oh, Sierra, you're gonna be so happy. Sierra! Is she not here? Oh, there, oh, she, there is. she is. Don't you run away from me. Uh. Game? What? She's fleeing something. Why is she fleeing? Uh, game? Was there an enemy outside that we didn't realize? What, did her boyfriend suddenly show up? Oh. She's fleeing a scorpion. Hold on, hold on. We'll take care of that for you, Sierra. Did that for the lulls, I suppose. We did it, so it is. Oh. Oh, I hope you're here with some quantum. Yes, I am. Uh, let's see. I have the last quantum. Let's hope this works. Ooh, or should I tell her that Ron offered to buy quantum from me? That's up to you. He has? Oh, that sweetheart! I knew he'd help me. All that guy does is watch out for me all the time. Yeah, that's why he does it. Now, I think he just wants to get into your pants. <laughs> that's so silly. Why would a man want to wear a pair of these filthy woman's pants? <laughs> Doesn't make sense. I bet you and him cooked up that line just to make me smile. <laughs> well, mission accomplished. So we gotta oh, wow. give we gotta give him the uh, All right. quantums. Uh, I have the last Nuka Cola quantum. You've done it! My machine is finally full. Well, like I promised, here's the schematic for the Nuka grenade. You've sure earned it. Thank you. If you find any more bottles, be sure and bring them by. I'll be glad to keep paying for them. Well, hot dog. And we completed the mission. I gained the karma. Yes, you did. Now don't steal any of her Nuka. <laughs> don't steal any of her Nuka Cola. That way we can keep it. It's 
1,200 bottle caps. Where is that Ronald guy anyway? He's probably like son of a bitch. Probably sulking in his damn cabin. All right. I so suppose we could do. Yeah, let's let's do that. All right. The local flavor. It's blue raspberry. Actually, knowing. Is there anything interesting along the way? Oh, that's a long walk. Yeah, the new Coca-Cola plant's right on the way. I suppose we could check that. We don't have to now, but we could. Sure. Then we can drink all the Quantums instead of saving them. Yeah. Because the mission's already over. And all she's going to do with the uh, Quantums is just give us more money. So. Yeah, and we'll catch up to you when we get there. See you then. Well, if I'm not mistaken, that's the new Coca-Cola facility. That looks like a factory, so that could be it. I remember there is something sort of cool about this place. Hmm. I don't remember what. Oh, god damn it. All right, well, another red scorpion. No, it's a giant red scorpion. At least it's not an albino this time. Eh, you're just poison glands. We got enough of your poison glands. We're no longer well rested. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. It's Oh no. Is that a way in? Doesn't look it. Considering it's all boarded up and whatnot. Nuka Colas. I bet we're gonna find a lot of Nuka Colas in this place. Well, considering it's the factory, I bet there's a quantum. Eh, not good. No, apparently that skeleton got all the Nuka Cola they could drink. Alright, moving on. Yep. I must have had me about 20 Nuka Colas. Because <laughs> we're doing forced gum quotes, why not? Uh. Ah, here oh, we go. Oh, there's the doors. Open. Open the door to the factory floor. Open the door. Get on the floor. Everybody walk to the dinosaur. Wow, looks like the plant's uh, not exactly up and running. No, a little dim. At least they have a first aid kit right there in the front. I wonder how many people who work here are actually big Pepsi drinkers. <laughs> By order of the... Uh oh. Oh, really? Really, really? Trespassers. <laughs> Nuka Cola robot. Yep, Nuka Cola security. That requires a key. Uh, this area is off limits. Oh. All right, where are you? Oh, it's down there. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Luckily, they're easy to kill. Installation at we, we must protect the secret recipe to Nuka Cola. <laughs> we must not tell them the location of the cola nuts. It's old. It's new Nuka Cola. Oh. Nuka Cola Corporation is pleased to announce to all its employees that the first shipments of our Nuka Cola Quantum are on their way to retailers in the Washington, D.C. area. This flagship test market program is the culmination of a three year research program to bring the refreshing taste of Quantum to market. Congratulations on a job well done. Test subjects in the Nuka Cola Quantum program are responding well to the reconfigured taste in the new isotope. The only listed side effects from the group are three cases of dizziness, one case of nausea, and one case of impaired vision. We find from a sampling of 50 that this is an acceptable number of cases and approve this product for production. Oh, uh, I don't think so. Yeah, I was going to say. Acetope CE772 has proven too damaging to the initial test group, which now needs to be disbanded due to the reluctance to continue in our program. This group has suffered four fatalities, 12, 12 major internal organ failures, Ooh, and, 30, and 32 internal radiation burns. 
This is an unacceptable number of issues in a given test group and recommend we switch to an alternate isotope, such as CE-774 or UR-993. Oh, cerium and uranium, okay. I wonder what CE was. Uh, what was this? Oh, they didn't say what they this isotope was. Nope. All right. Isotope CE-770 has proven to be a disastrous failure. All of the test subjects suffered severe internal organ failures and died within three days of ingestion. We recommend the immediate destruction of container A32 in the production rooms and suggest switching to isotope CE-772. Please send standard Nuka condolences fruit and something flavor. Whatever. Yeah, fruit, fr fruit and cheese packages. Ah. Attention all Nuka-Cola Corporation employees. We are very proud to announce that R&D has been completed on Nuka-Cola Clear. With an only minimal ah. loss of life, we've been able to modify the look of Nuka-Cola but give it the same great taste. We will be submitting the product to marketing shortly from, for bottle design and advertising strategies. From all of us in the research department, thanks for the support. Ah, Nuka-Cola Crystal. <laughs> or Crystal Nuka-Cola. Probably my favorite Nuka-Cola. You were a big fan of, uh... Crystal Pepsi? Yes, you were. Yes, I you... love Crystal Pepsi. Uh, I'm honestly one. very pissed that it's not on the market anymore. When they brought it back, I knew it was a limited time thing, and then I bought a whole bunch, and they all went flat now, and... So I have to figure out a way to recarbonate, uh, Crystal Pepsi. All right. There... All right, we're gonna need a key for that. It's hidden somewhere. Whoa! Wha oh, oh, gas. Pipe. Yeah, leaky pipe. All right, well. Let's not do that again. We won't be making those same mistakes all over again. Much like Bethesda, we'll be making all new ones. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Is that what I thought that was? What? I thought I heard a Meyerlick. I heard a chittering noise. Yes! Oh, it's a Nuka Lurk. Nuka -lurk. Oh, and these suckers are powerful. I mean, they're no match for a shish kebab, but whoa. Nuka Lurk meat? Huh. Oh, that's kind of neat. Alright. We'll, we'll come back to this. I told you I heard a chittering noise. I'd rather, uh, I'd rather explore the first floor of the factory before we... Yeah, before we go we into We start the... going off on wild tangents, because that looked like it led down. Yeah. Into the bowels of the plant. The bowels! I usually tend to try to clear out whole... All right, that's back Clear up. out whole floors before I go to the next floor. Besides, we haven't found the key yet. Execute, execute protocol KL-001. Nope. No key in there. We are keyless. All right, well, this looks like a brick room of some sort. That's all it is. All right. No keys. My mother is a major uh, collector of Coca-Cola merchandise. Yeah, merchandise and memorabilia. Memorabilia, yeah. Oh, that's a hard door. Very to hard. Pick. You can't force that lock. That's one. And we could. We have a one in ten shot of just it busting open. It's two. It's three. It's four. The problem is, is whenever I fucking am close... Oh, there we There's go. There's it jostles the fucking pin, and I can't tell where it was exactly. Hmm. Point is, we made it. Oh. All right. Down ahead. You're pissing me off. All right, where are you, uh, 
hunk of junk. Oh, come on, you clanking masses. Are they upstairs? Could be. Yep, oh, there, there it is. he is. In the corner, just talking to itself. Hey, asshole! Got a key? No. Hmm. Uh, no key no. up here, sadly. No uh, levers or buttons or anything like that. Hmm. Oh yeah, it's trespasser. If this is Fallout 4, I could collect all these bottles for glass, but it is not it, Fallout 4. No, it is not. Which I've been playing a lot of Fallout 4 lately, and wow, that game is way buggier than I remember it. I mean, like, to the point where it's almost unplayable. Oof. Fission battery. We don't need those, but it's something different. Whereas this game is, like, a little bit buggy, at least it's workable. Yeah. But goddamn, Fallout 4 is almost unplayable at times when it gets a series of glitches going. Mm. Like a glitch reaction. Alright, this must be... Zero. Zero. Oh. Nope, no key. God damn it, where is the key? Where's the key? Where's the key? Where's the beautiful key? Anything over here? No. All right, show yourselves, bats. Ooh, offices. offices. Maybe there's keys in there. Well, maybe there is a key in the office. Chittering. It does sound like a nuke alert. <gasps> yes. Ah. Heal up. Ah. Ah. I ain't scared. Oh. I say we have these nuke colors. We might as well use them. Must have drank me about thirty nuke colors. My lord, there's like a bunch of dots. That's because they're red roaches. Alright. That's skirt over nothing. They're just a bunch of bugs. Working. So it's like da -da 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 -da. oh -ho, what do we have here? Marketing terminal. Hello, marketing terminal. The Nuka Cola Corporation is pleased to announce to all its employees. Okay, that's the uh, uh, stage one. Stage one of the Nuka Cola Quantum Marketing will include two 15-second television commercials, four 10-second radio commercials, and a highway billboard campaign. The spots on TV and radio will tease the consumer with the blue glow of the new drink, never showing the bottle in an illuminated environment. The billboard will show the bottle's blue silhouette on a black background. The tagline will read, try something new. Go blue. This name will not be revealed until stage two. Stage two of the Nuka Cola Quantum Marketing will include two 30-second television commercials, four 15-second radio commercials, and a highway billboard campaign. In this stage, the name Quantum will be revealed and the bottle shown in full view. We will emphasize the drink's new energy content and flavor. The tagline will be, Take the Leap, Enjoy a Quantum. Stage 3 of the Nuka-Cola Quantum Marketing will include four 30-second television commercials, four 15-second radio commercials, and a highway billboard campaign. Oh, very cut and paste, I've noticed. <laughs> In this final stage, we will aggressively compare the drink to other competitors and show their inferiority using hired actors at taste tests. <laughs> the Pepsi Challenge? The actors will read pre-written scripts approved by our department. The text should give an authentic on-the-spot impression, but still clearly point out Quantum's strengths. 
the tagline will remain. Take the leap. Enjoy quantum. All right. Oh, get it? Like a quantum leap? Uh, 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 uh. Okay, there's a thief. Lion Congress style. No keys. Silence pistol. Uh, same terminal as the other one. Probably. Yep. yep. In case you missed the first one. Ooh, first aid kit. Oh! Ah! Ah. Where'd you come from? Came out of nowhere. Jeez, I thought the death calls were bad. Oh, he doesn't even give us anything cool. No nuclear meat or anything like that. Well, well that was terrifying. Uh, yeah, especially because I was like, oh, these little red marks, yeah, they're just I could hear him, but I figured he was down the hall or something. Because it sounded far away. Yeah. So it's like, oh, they're down in the basement. No, it's right there. Getting all in our face. They're looking at us like, are you sure you don't want to take that dirty water in the first aid kit, huh? Winger Mercier. Find the formula. Huh. Somebody uh, uh, hired by a competitor? Winger what? Mercier, the formula for clear Nuka Cola is on the first floor of their DC plant. That's where they did all their R&D for it. Get the formula and meet us at the Red Rocket Tricycle Factory as we planned. Our buyer is promising lots of caps. So, I hey, want to see some hustle. This could take our gang to the big time. Sudden death overtime forever. Goldie Ledoux. <laughs> oh, I forgot the, uh, the, um, hockey-themed raiders in this game. Yeah, the... Oh, shoot. No, no, Finger. I didn't kill no. him. He was already dead. We only get the Finger if we kill him. But if they're already dead, no finger. All right, well, there's a formula for Nuka-Cola Clear. Nuka-Cola Clear, yes. Yes, yes, I almost called it something else. <laughs> no, I, I'm going to call that a Freudian slip or slip of the tongue. I, I don't think you, you meant it. Nuka-Cola Clear. But yeah, I wonder if it also tastes like... Uh, Slightly lemon lime flavor. I also like uh, crystal Pepsi too. Oh, we are we are hurting. Yeah, we should probably do something about that. Like read a book on speech and a book on saints. That'll that'll do that. Read some books. Drink some blood. Drink some blood. Stim up. Remember, kids, stim up responsibly. All right, Roach, where the hell are you? Down the hallway. Hi, Roach. Hi, Roach. Shipping. Shipping. So we're looking for the R&D department. Research and development. Ooh, that's a hard door. That's a hard door. That's a hard door. Let's see what's behind the hard door. 69 pins. That's one. It's two. Got it in three. Ah, oh, oh. didn't make it. No, oh, he looks like he was clamoring for the door, too. Pack, stim pack. Help me. Help me. He threw me in here. I can't believe he did it, but that bolt brain foreman psychopath locked me in a closet. A goddamn 17 minute break? That's why he threw. That's why it threw me in here? It. Oh. It was a. Uh, it was a r robot. Yeah. Or a protectron, or whatever you want to call it. Ooh, got some caps in there. It's empty. Not worth our while. Oh, that one we can use. <laughs> a dart. Oh, and the freaking uh, death claws we run into. We already opened that. Here, Crispy. Here, Crispy. Oh, 
Alright. Here, Crispy. Luckily, we haven't run into any other uh, gas lines yet, so... I'm certain those were isolated incidents. Won't ever happen again. Any bets he's going to shoot for three, folks? That's marketing we've already... Yeah, but sometimes they have extra stuff on them. Hmm. No stage four? Calling it a horrible failure? <laughs> no stage four? All right, we're going to leave it on the market for three weeks, and then we're going to take it off. And then we won't bring it back for at least another 13 years. <laughs> if they mention the urine glowing, just tell them it's a perk. It eventually goes away. Because Sierra mentioned something about that a long while back. Stage four of our marketing plan. We're gonna make it uh, free to play, multi or no? We're gonna we're gonna charge full price. It's gonna be online only, multiplayer only, and full of microtransactions. And full of microtransactions. Stage two. <laughs> Limited time events, full of microtransactions. Yeah, and then we're gonna make it free to play or, or free free to win. Even though we promised it won't. We're going to make so much money. <laughs> I that, that just pisses me off. What really baffles me is like the occasional like weird Fallout 76 uh, uh, fanboy that just comes out and they're all like, you're wrong, Fallout 76 is the best. Because uh, believe it or not, I've actually had people make that argument. Uh, yeah, I, I totally believe you. <laughs> I'm not saying that sarcastically either. I actually genuinely believe you. I think it's a del well. Here's the thing, and and this th this is what I think it comes down to. If you spent an obscene amount of money on a game, that one day they're just like, well, we're gonna make it free to play, and you know, we're gonna throw in a subscription fee, and it's just nothing but failure. You spent tons of money on this stupid fucking game. Storage and mixing bats. And then it's all like, well, I don't want to look retarded. Um, this is the best game ever. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have uh -oh. to convince myself and everyone else around me that this is a really good game. That way I don't look like a complete fucking moron for, uh, for backing it. Yeah, I'm a whale. Well, now we know where how the uh, Meyer works. Uh, Meyer works. Meyer uh, Nuka lurks uh, glow. Yeah, this is the cool part. They have like. You can drink it too. It's crazy radioactive. Is that the only thing? Hmm? And sploosh. This place is crazy. I love it. I it is cool, but at the same time, because of the like the blue glow, it gives it kind of a creepy kind of ambiance to it. Well, I like it compared to like most of the places that we have to go to in this game, where it's just like you can't see shit. Yeah, you can actually see because everything's glowing. Swimming, swimming, swimming in the blue. Alright, up the stairs. All right, where are you, nuclear? I hear you. Oh, there you are. Oh, there's two of them. Ow. Ow. Alright, down to half. Are you bastard? I can hear you. Oh no! There's three. Oh, who could have foreseen this happening? Me. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, there's a uh, non-activated protectron. Oh, automated maintenance. Very easy to hack. Take a We don't need no dirty water. Oh dear, Boston, you're not my home. Very easy terminal. Barely an inconvenience. Yeah, look at that. Well, it ain't steel. It ain't yield, but it's close. Wheel? No. Fuck oh, up. no! <laughs> Fuck that up. Oh, well, I, I didn't even see any other words. The only reason I took the risk is because I figured that was the last one. Well, it's getting stuck now. That Petrectron is staying in its hub. Oh, uh, well. Uh, we can't get them every time. We'll be fine. We are okay. At least it wasn't anything, like, super important. All right, down in the pool. Oh no, Nuka Lurk, you lost your legs. Lieutenant Nuka Lurk, you lost your legs. Everybody's losing their legs in this game. Not us, though. It's all the Nuka Cola quantum you could ever want. Right there, you just gotta bottle it yourself. That did. Into the drink. Wow. He just he went right through the floor there. Yep, just sank like a rock. No, we don't want to wait. Our lives be over. I want to know right now. Will it be? Alright, something right here. It's gonna make us go all the way around. I wonder if there's actually anything down here. Because I know they're supposed to look for R&D, the research and development. Hey, spoosh. I think this is it. I just don't think there's anything down here. Well, I know there's a bit of a fading up there, like right in front of us. Because I know if we go up and over this heap. We'll get stuck. We don't want to get stuck. Sploosh! That's a now we're in this area that once again leads to nothing. Huh. Yahoo! Miss. Yeah, I really don't think there's anything up here. Huh. Offices? There's a red thing. Probably probably a red roach. Factory floor. I don't think we missed anything in here. Now where the hell are the R&D offices then? Hmm. The mystery thickens. Like a roux. Yep, add more flour and butter. They're shipping.
Well, back to the factory floor. Well, we may have missed a spot in uh, in the factory floor area. Well, we were fighting a lot of robots. Because I know that we kind of, like, we never went down here. Oh, this is like a spiral staircase. <laughs> Uh, hello? What is it now? What is it now, sir? Um. What is it now, sir? It's a good question. Uh, oh, okay. Well, this is new. Yeah, very much so. All right, we did miss something. I thought something seemed odd. Uh, requires a key. Once again, there seems to be a lack of keys. Area Proceeding with... Oh. Haha. -ha. No keys. Tumblers today. Scanning for hostiles. What is it now, sir? That's a good question. Hope he wasn't. Hope he wasn't critical. Oh. <laughs> there we go. There we go. I was going to say, I bet he has something on him. Quantum test shipments. Make sure that the initial test shipments of Quantum are sent to the following locations along with the standard marketing package. Paradise Falls Shopping Mart, Super Duper Mart, Old Only Grocery. I think we went to all three of those. Yeah, we've been to all three of them. And then blah, 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 blah. Well, hot dog. And now we can get to that one uh, yeah. safe that's I in bet, the opening. Yeah, and I bet that's the formula for Nuka-Cola Clear. 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 I assume we got to get there first. And tell that one Protectron to take a hike. Yeah, pound dirt, pal. He's going to be guarding this empty, abandoned factory with all of his dead comrades and for all of eternity. Ha 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 ha! There it is. You could call it clear formula and four radaways. Nice. Make sure the initial test oh Oh, well... We already know that. Oh, well, it doesn't just tell us how to make Nuka-Cola clear? That's disappointing. Nope. Well, that was something. That definitely was something. That was but, actually a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, I, I like the... It's kind of funny, because there's really nothing going on in that basement. Yeah, it was just like, oh, this is cool. You get to kill some Nuka-Lurks, and that's just about it. I think that was kind of the reward in itself. It's like, hey, do you want to take a swim around some vats of Nuka Cola Quantum? Yeah, you want to glow blue? You're dead, dead. Am I really? Oh. Why can't you get over this fucking barricade? Because right. Bethesda. All right. All right, I'm warding upward. Oh. Just gotta keep keep going, Sith. Oh, there's the Arlington Library right on the way. All right, time to drop off some books. Reload. That looks like a couple of raiders right in front of us. They're not near any gas pipes, so we can just shish kebab at them. Well, we love it when we kill you, because you're a major inconvenience. 
You're not scary, you're annoying. Yeah, they are annoying more than anything. Like the Jar Jar Binks of the Wasteland. Don't make me do the impression, I can't do it. Oh, please don't. Okay, fair enough, I won't. Just follow your nose. Follow the billboards. Ah, cute, another raider. A sledgehammer? You brought a sledgehammer to a shish kebab fate. Oh, you poor thing. All right, going down the road. We're on our way. We're on our way. <laughs> Now, if I'm not mistaken, this place up here is crazy dangerous. Is it? Yeah, you've got all these cars around. <gasps> oh. And I know there's someone out there with a rocket launcher. But I think we may have killed him, so I'm not going to worry about it. I was going to say, I did hear booming noises earlier, but I think it was like way off in the distance. Ah, oh, there's the guy with the rocket launcher. Where? He's up there on, uh, over the barrier. Oh, did these guys respawn? I think so. Okay, well, we'll kill them. Stop hitting me and let me collect your fingers. Oh, you're going to die. It's inevitable. Just accept it. I say. I saw a rocket flying over my head. Yeah, like I said, he's all right there. Oh, you lost your weapon. How, un how unfortunate. Don't need your stinking rocket launcher. Don't need your stinking chessboard. Don't need your stinking computer. Don't need your ball and chain. You're right down to half. Will you just stick? No! Ah, oh, burned up. Yeah, you got all crispy. Did I mention that we're the good guys? We are, we are, we're protagonists. We're the savior of the wasteland. Oh, metal boxes. What's going on with those metal boxes? They're all empty. Well, those are full, though. Pulse mines. Are they trying to tell us something? Pulse grenades. Not gonna what? worry about it. <laughs> That's what I get for trying to force a lock with only a 60% chance of... Yeah, 60% but success rate. That's still failing. I, it was a grenade box. I mean, I don't really need... I need grenades like I need a hole in the head. Fair enough. Expression I never really understood until I was an adult. Because as a kid, I'm like, I don't need such and such like I need a hole in the head. And I'm like, well, when you pierce your ears, that's a hole in your head. So I thought a hole in the head meant, like, ear piercings. Then Going went, off to the library. Now as an adult, I'm like, oh, hole in the head, bullet wound. I, I get it, I get it. I'm an idiot. Oh, Scrape! The Brotherhood is at your service. Welcome back. Have you been successful in your search for books? Yeah. I have pre books for you. Take them all. Very well. Here is 700. I have to go Steel now. Steel be with you. Sure. I thought we had more than seven. I think we just didn't take the ones from Megaton. Seven is all we needed. Fair enough. That's seven more lazy, uh, or not lazy. That's seven less lousy books lying around the Commonwealth. Oh, there's the hit van. <laughs> Talon Company. I don't think Talon All Company right. exists anymore. Huh? I don't think Talon Company exists anymore. I think this is actually still them. 
Yeah, it is. Okay, fair enough. Oh, you've turned into creamy goop. No reason to lose your head, buddy. Where's your head at? Where's your copyright? Okay, usually you guys are in threes. Where's the other two? Uh, they're probably around this corner. I wonder where that tick mark is. Ah! I had to ask. Try that again, fool. Nope. His head just... Ooh, we have bottle caps. Ooh, he's got a shotgun. We could use a good shotgun. Hey, you! I need your shotgun! Oh, less than half. There we go. Oh, now we're all. I want the he had a sniper rifle? How cute. Hey, let's keep shooting at us with a sniper rifle. Alright. Well, there was four of them that time. I think they're uh, breaking and, the mold. And that's the end of that story. They're like, look guys, when we come in threes, we always get obliterated by protagonist, all right? So we got to come up with a new strategy. We'll go after protagonist in groups of four. Yeah, how'd that work out for you, Talon? Ah, there's that river boat. Ooh, that's a lot of smoke coming out of that, ch that chimney. Out of that smokestack. It is a riverboat, too. Ugh, I hate those things. I don't see... Oh, there's... I was going to say, I don't see a paddle wheel. But yes, yeah, there's a, a paddle, paddle wheel. wheel. It's in the back. I hate paddle wheel ships. You! Are you going to Point Lookout? I need your help. My daughter stowed away on the Duchess Gambit a few weeks ago, and I've been worried sick ever since. I haven't heard anything from her, but if you're going there, could you look for her? Please, I'll do anything to help. <sighs> well, I'm kind of busy. Find her on your own. Uh, uh, I can't promise anything, but I'll look for her. Yeah. We're the good guys. Oh, bless you. Her name is Nadine, and she left a couple of weeks ago. Said she wanted to see the world. Silly little thing that she is. Posted on Instagram. That Tobar said he dropped her off at Point Lookout, but who knows what's happened to her since then. I don't know if you can convince my little Nadine to come back. I smell a plot just hook. give her this yes. note from me, would you? Uh, let's see. Do you know anything about Lookout Point? Only that it's where Tobar gets those punga fruits he sells off. Must be making punga a good fruits, profit huh? off of them, too. I hear rumors the place is full of swamps and killer plants, but I don't know hmm. about all that. Yeah, me neither. Uh, what can you tell me about your daughter? She's about your age, and she when she left, her hair was dyed Oof. bright orange. You shouldn't have any problem recognizing her. Bright orange. She, she told me roots. she wanted to go find her fortune, but I thought it was too dangerous. I should have known better than to say that moment I told her she couldn't go, it was just a matter of time before she ran off. I need to be going. Please, find my daughter. No promises. Uh, nothing, nothing. Hmm. Alright, dude, are you Tobar? Ugh. Welcome, my friend. I am Tobar the Ferryman, and this fine vessel is the Duchess Gambit. Don't pay the ferry, man. Back from Point Lookout, cost you your life. But it won't be long before we set off again. Interested? This guy looks dodgy as fuck. <laughs> What's so special about Point Lookout, other than we're on a quest? Dad taught me never to accept rides from strangers. <laughs> you look like a man who's been around the wastes, so I'll cut right to it. Nice necklaces, though. In Point though. Lookout, you'll find fresh-grown food, mysterious locales, and treasures as of yet unlooted. Unlooted, but keep huh? your wits about you. 
because you'll find more than a few exotic critters and inhospitable locals. So stay here if you're not man enough. We're the great emancipator. I'm man enough. Blah, 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 blah. We're the great emancipator. Uh, nice boat. No, I refuse to tell him that. Um, <laughs> yeah, any idea where Nadine is? The plot hook. Ah, Nadine. Sprightly little tomboy with more curiosity than common sense, that one. <laughs> Caused so much trouble on the trip that I probably would have thrown her overboard <laughs> if she hadn't reminded me of myself at her age. You were a sprightly young seen tomboy? Her since we hit land at Point Lookout. But knowing her, I'll bet she's gotten herself in plenty of trouble. Uh, yeah, tell me more about Point Lookout. Down south, this side of the bay, there's a soggy strand of beach called Point Lookout. Oh, it's got it all. Ruins of ancient pleasure towns, mysterious swamps, bristling with treasure, and all practically untouched by outsiders. But if you're curious, I could offer you a ride over to that faraway land. For a nominal fee, of course. Son of a gun, we're gonna have great fun on the bayou? Hmm. Uh, secure pits. So... <laughs> Tell me more about Boy Lookout! <laughs> Down south. This side of the uh, Oh, Jesus uh, same Christ. Thing. All right. Yeah, sure. I'll buy your stupid ticket. Looking for fame and fortune? Hoping to cultivate the delicious punga fruit? Or just looking to run away from your life on these dreary shores? I actually have to buy a ticket. Yes, you do. Okay, well. We'll buy six. No, I'm kidding. Um, it's got stim packs. Okay, well, I guess we'll sell some garbage to him. Yeah. Here, have my frag mines and frag grenades. I don't need them. You could sell him drugs. We could sell him drugs. He looks like a guy who would, uh... Oh, we could sell him these poison glands. And a plunger. Because I have that for some the reason. The Coca-Cola clear formula is 124 caps. Ooh, I'm not selling that. That's... I know, but it's... We gotta get that to go little do. do Mm-hmm. Time is of the essence, so we're gonna take a boat ride somewhere else. Yeah. <laughs> there, you owe me money now. Do I need anything else? Once you've got a ticket, just head into the cabin and settle in on the cot. We'll be there in no time. I'm ready to Whenever head out. Whenever you're ready, just take a rest on the cot in the cabin. We'll be at Point Lookout in no time. Oh, I can hardly wait. Tobar, your your room is a mess. Also, where's the friggin' cat? Oh, I can't go in there. Nope. This boat doesn't look very seaworthy, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Especially with that. Bleh. It's a paddle wheel. Paddle wheel. Bleh. Uh, paddle wheels. The most, the most absurd thing you could ever put on a boat. Ah. Quit scaring yourself. It, I'm not scared. I'm just revol revolted. Is just what I am. Please don't puke on the control. Oh, okay, there's the cat. Right? That's a ruined couch. Oh, there's my cot. Yep. Well, I guess I'll just take a nap here with this shady individual. Nothing bad could happen here. It's a clean cot, though. Everything else may be dirty, but that cot was immaculate. Going on down to Point Lookout, gonna have myself a time. Friendly faces everywhere, punk or fruit without abandon. Yeah, it's not so much friendly faces, from what I recall. No, I heard it's actually hella dangerous. I remember this place being kind of tough. Oh. Sure we're not going down by the bayou? I paid money for this. Yes, you did. Uh, and some of your supplies as well. When all this is said and done, I'm going to take it out of that guy's ass. That's for certain. <laughs> So 
the creepy music. I'm gonna sink his crappy paddle boat too. Yeah, but sink the crappy paddle boat after you get back to DC. Point lookout Pierre. It's the Pierre. Welcome to Point Lookout, my friend. The trip was fine. The weather's nice and damp, and everything out there looks pleasant as ever. Looks like nothing's changed since my last visit, except all that smoke I saw on the way in. What, Centralia? Should I be worried? What's over there? Oh, nothing much. Just old Calvert Mansion. Just a huge abandoned estate teeming with who knows what opportunities for profitable scavenging. You know, nothing much. I like that he's got all these keys on his I necklace. Said I know, I'm digging it so much. Hunters, but it's like, it's I want to make one. It's a rare day when you get a beacon like that. He also has a padlock, too. Very punk. Uh, any places you'd recommend? Depends what you're looking for. If you need supplies, head to the shop over at the end of these docks. Convenient? And I get caps for referring you. Wink, wink, if you need nudge. a place to stay, I'm gonna tell him I stumbled to across it then. <laughs> the beds there are still pretty soft, even if it's because they're full of lice. Hello? And if you're looking for some hunting, there's a fella named Plick who runs a club out in the northeast. Strictly for high rollers, though. <sighs> okay. Right. I'm out of here. I have to go. Good travels to you. Eat it, dick. <laughs> Just hold in your vomit and just keep going forward, okay? It's a crime against nautical engineering. Pilgrim's Landing. I have a buddy who has a similar feeling about helicopters. <laughs> it's like an old uh, amusement park. Okay, we have one locker that can be picked open. Another one that requires a key. Metro ticket. Yeah, I don't need it. All right. Well, let's uh, let's go up and play some ski ball, I guess. I guess so. I'm assuming there's ski ball. I see funnel cakes. Hot dogs, funnel cakes, ice cream, ice cream, cold drinks, cold drinks. Yeah, a sign that said cold drinks. Hot drinks. Ah, uh, House of Bears. You must be Panetta. Panera bread. Move along, please. All right, don't have to tell me twice. Panetta. Well, hello there, young traveler. The fates had told me that I would receive a visitor today. Oh, fuck. Oh. Being rude. I am Madame Panada, and this is Madame Panada's House of Wares. And For bread. For all things <clears throat> a traveler needs, I am here to provide. Do you have soup and bread bowls? Stim packs, armor, weapons, junk. If you need it, Madame Panada has already anticipated your need and procured it months ago. Why would I need junk? Because she predicted it. Oh. Certainly. Madame Panada no. is quite handy with a wrench. Uh, what do you got for sale? And what is it you would like to purchase? But you already knew what I wanted. That was kind of your thing. Oh, lever action rifle, that's kind of cool. Radiation suit. Confederate hat. Well, we must be in the south. Oh, this is. Oh, it's Washington. This we're nowhere near the south. Or it's Washington D.C. I should say. We're nowhere near the south. Uh, stim packs. Yeast. Sensor modules. You don't have anything I want. I have to go now. Take the greatest of care. No. Yeah, so much for predicting everything I wanted. It turns, how did you know I was not going to buy anything? Huh? Ah, ski ball. Oh my God, they did have ski ball. Look at that. I told you. 
Oh, they have pinball machines, too. White star something. I mean, they look more like pachinko. No, those are pinball. It has flippers. Yeah. Well, I, I would love to go to a place like this before the bombs fall. No, I just want to play pinball. Bumper cars? They even got bumper cars. They have a hot dog stand. Bigglies. I love how it didn't even give me an option to, like, say, Hey, have you seen this Nadine chick? Nope. They had world-famous cheeseburgers. Randy would approve. <laughs> Back well, into the bumper cars. I guess it's just a lot of exploring, because this place is dead as hell. This place is quite dead. Dead. Well, dead. let's check the map, see if there's anything worthwhile on the map. Right, there's the Hopestead Hotel Motel. That's what old what's his face was telling us about. There's this is that grotto. coastal grotto. Which I'm guessing is where that hunting guy was. Mm. Investigate the mansion. Well, right. That's what it wants me to do. Yep. That's where it's railroading us to. First I'm gonna check into my sweet hotel with the lice. Oh look I did nice the nice puffers. Yeah, Dan Bell would not approve. Where the hell's the office? Not there. Oh, storm door. Huh. Oh, bathrooms with no uh, first aid kits. But they have a fishing pole. <sighs> oh my goodness. We've we've gone we've died and gone to Cabbage Cove. <clears throat> Crutches, lunchbox, a bunch of drugs. Well, I'm taking his jet, whoever he is. Yeast. Yep, got to make the beer. There's a key. Wait, where? Right there on the. Uh, oh. Right, right there. One G key. All right. Well, looks like I got myself a room for the night. Yeah, free room. There's one. Doesn't seem to be anyone here. Ooh, look at all those bottle caps. No, yeah, this place is deader than Doris Day. Well, I can't complain about the rates. Nothing's better than free, I guess. Now the question is, where's our room? Probably that one with the light in front of it. Is this 1G? One 1D. One oh, that's 1D. There it is. There's 1G. There's our room. And our previous occupants are still in here. Well, nobody ever cleans the rooms, it looks like. Terrible housekeeping. He has a medical brace surrounded by money. I think he was a smuggler. Well, I'll take the money and this uh, double-barreled shotgun. That's kind of cool. Huh. Open the trunk. Ugh, not much in there. Wow, it looks More like a money. deal gone bad. Sawed off shotgun. More money. Well, 1G was kind of cool. Wouldn't want to sleep there. Nah, yeah, not with all that blood on the bed. We'll see what's in 1D. Ah. A computer. Well, more dead bodies. 
Chinese pistol. Hmm. Confederate hat Confederate or fishing hat. pole? Luggage case? A locker key. Oh. I wonder if that's the locker uh, on the beach. That's what I'm wondering. Stealth boy? Stealth boy. Safe house terminal. Welcome to the USA, Dr. Zhang. Audio safe. Recover the dead Chinese spy debriefing from the locker and point lookout. Okay. I apologize I that I cannot receive you in person, Agent Yang. Our Norfolk contact confirms your arrival. Now eager, how eager the Americans are to believe that a great mind of the people would defect. Our countrymen will her will herald you as a hero when your work is done. To that end, let us turn to the details of your mission. This room will be your safe house and lookout point. Focus initially on playing the American lapdog. Do not act arouse suspicion when it is safe. Use the key. You were given in Norfolk to open one of the public rental lockers on the boardwalk near the motel. You will be provided with a password. You'll need to access your mission dossier. Zhu no ha hyung on ancient junk. Huh. So, Chinese spy. Hai ho hyun. Of the Velvet Curtain. Hmm. All right, now we got a locker to open. Yeah, we do. Well, at least there's some sort of plot hook. I mean, besides that mansion being on fire, but yeah, that was that was a bit strange. So, like, oh yeah, here's this place with nothing in it. There's this mansion that's on fire. <laughs> this is way more interesting. What I remember, it was down this way. Oh man, the gift shop's closed. I can't go get any keychains or novelty t shirts. Alright, down this way. Haha! -ha. Spy audio password. Yeah, good thing I have this recording. Use the password hell tape access at the Point Lookout Bank. Yeah, I just wonder where this bank is. Dumpsters. More Confederate hats and fishing poles. <laughs> they threw their they threw those Confederate hats right in the dumpster. Like, yeah, the war's over. Nobody's gonna need him. Ugh. Whoa! Wow, that was a bit hairy. I can't stand Confederate hats. It's not even just that it's like, it's the Confederates who are a bunch of losers, might I add. But I just hate that style of hat. It looks like it's half smashed in. Yeah. All right. Uh, naval the recruiting Naval Recruiting Center. Center. Well, let's check this out real quick. This sounds like it could be a hoot. Hello? Anybody home? Ain't nobody here but us roaches, apparently. Yeah, I'm going to say it sounds like there's some roaches. Eh, yeah, you're dead. Dead bug. Dale's dead bug. Oh, looks like... Oh, mini nuke! And you're dead. You're also dead. Oh, there. That's the end of that. Ah, oh, Confederate hat. Once again, in the garbage. 
Again, we're in Virginia. This doesn't make sense. Now at least we know where we are. We're in Norfolk. Mm-hmm. Filing cabinets. What's going on with those filing cabinets? <sighs> More Confederate hats. Again, Virginia doesn't seem like the Confederate hat sort of place, but here we are. Virginia was part of the North, wasn't it? I think it was part of this Confederacy. Was it? I think it was. Huh. Because I know it was one one big Virginia. One big Virginia. It's one big Virginia. Just listen. There is a Santa Claus. It was, at the beginning of the Civil War, it was one, both Virginias were together. And then in, in uh, 1863, West Virginia broke away from, from Virginia. And I think one of them was the Union and one of them was Confederate. And I so maybe at one point that's okay. So this is uh, this is uh, Confederate land. If there's any history buffs watching our channel, feel free to enlighten us. Well, the double barrel shotgun does a decent amount of damage. You combine all those laser pistols. Actually, I want to save those if I can. Okay. Ah, yes, another double-barreled shotgun. Alright, that's actually going to be doing more damage than the terrible shotgun, so... Huh. I'm going to get that wascally rabbit. <laughs> Lunchbox. Chairs. No, nah, because we're near the outpost or the outcast um, place. Yeah, Point Lookout, Maryland. Oh, this is Maryland? Yeah, because according to the postcard, it said Point Lookout, Maryland. I thought Norfolk was in Virginia. Norfolk is in Virginia. Is it right on the border with Maryland? That's what I'm guessing. Okay. I, As you can tell, I am super familiar with the East Coast. As in not at all. Ooh. Well, there's got to be a bank place. around here somewhere. There's a diner. You know, maybe it'll show up on our map. Um, I'm not seeing it. That's a negatory. Well. Nope, no flower in the mailbox. They probably put yeast in their mailbox here. Yeah, good point. Room 1K? Hmm. Huh. It's average. Got it in one. I didn't know there were rooms on the other side of the hotel. All right. Oh, my. Well. Oh, my. Ooh, uh, they have axes. Ah. A serial killer? Something bad happened. Moonshine. Moonshine. Paint gun. Uh, more Confederate hats. <laughs> more Confederate hats. <laughs> uh, pint size pint slasher size mask. Slasher mask. Yeah, that's a serial killer. Oh, that's weird. Uh, uh, moving on. Go away, shopping cart. Nobody likes you. I'm not seeing a bank. Maybe we just haven't discovered it yet. Because, I mean, other than, like, the major thoroughfare here... Oh, wait. Bank of That's, Point Lookout. Oh, out. there's the bank. Told you, patience pays off. Yeah, it looks desolate and quiet. It's like a <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> well, let's see how this axe is. 
I do like that we have an axe now. Not a lot of power behind it. It's taking multiple swings to kill a rad roach. This is this is a horrible weapon. We're switching back to the old the old tried and true. Yeah. All right. Activate terminal. Pre-war money. Security updates. In compliance with our parent company, Isla Negro Holdings. We are installing a new security system for our safety deposit customers. In addition to conventional tumbler locks, the new system will offer a keyless voice recognition lock. Okay. Ah. National security update. Chinese spies! Ooh, wild caps and pre-war money. Yeah, we can check that out real quick. All tellers are reminded to be on the lookout for any customers attempting to exchange foreign currency. Civil Defense has asked us to be especially vigilant of customers possessing Chinese yuan notes. Should you encounter such a customer, trigger the silent alarm and attempt to delay the customer without arousing suspicion. Alright, well... Alright, so we gotta find the... Okay, there's safes. Hmm. One is an average and one is a hard. Here's one. Ooh. <sighs> they keep their Confederate hats in the safes. Lever action rifle. Eh, I don't need it. Still, it's it's something different. They also keep their alcohol in there too, apparently. Why do the bank tellers need scotch? Got it in three. Ooh, another axe. Bottle cap, energy cell, fishing pole. More laser pistols. Seems to be a lot of laser pistols in this place. I fix up the ones we have. Phone officer's desk. Password backup. Oh. And pre war money. I mean, we need that backup to get into the, uh, the safes. Well, let's go to the safe deposit boxes. Voice activated security system. Well, first we're going to rob it blind. Yep, first we're just going to look That's at all this. That's a lot of wine. <laughs> it is a lot of wine. Somebody is a wino. Clipboards. Shotgun shells. Okay. All right. Where? Oh yeah, it's under notes. Yeah. The audio password for my box is nevermore. Be confirmed. Access granted. What about pre-war money? What was the number again? One one nine one. All right, so that was the one that we just used. Yeah. All right, so we got to use this one. Twelve oh seven. And use Welcome the password. Welcome to Bank Chom Wing. Secure the teller. software is configured Vocal to recognize authorization only our voices. Requested. Processing. Processing. Password verified. Voice ID mismatch. Access denied. 
User voice unauthorized. Processing. Processing. Oh. Voice ID confirmed. Of course. Granted. All right. Some pre-war money. Espionage debriefing. <laughs> Agent Zhang, as you know, an important Chinese surveillance vessel was lost in American waters. Your mission is to destroy derelict submarine SSN-37-1A dash dash before the Americans can recover and analyze it. The recovery location is included in this dossier, and your cover ensures that the Americans will allow you access to their recovery operation. However, you will need an authorization code to trigger the self-destruct sequence. One of our field operatives in your area, Agent Yang, has these codes hidden in a dental capsule, but her current whereabouts are unknown. Locate and rendezvous with Agent Yang, then destroy the submarine. Report to your safe house for extraction information when the mission is complete. The will of the people protect you, Agent Yang. Ooh, there's something on the ground. Alright, so we have to find Agent Yang. Search for clues about the fate of Agent Yang. Where the hell are we supposed to find clues on that? Wait, did it tell us where the submarine was? I don't think it did. I think it said that it, its location was marked. Uh, apparently not. Okay. Well, it's telling me to go this way. This just gets weirder and weirder. Yes, it does. Curiouser and curiouser. Is it supposed to be in the bank? Oh! Wan Yang, suspected communist and Chinese sympathizer, has been reported in the vicinity of Point Lookout. Agent, Agent Yang may be operating under an alias and or using a disguise. You're required to report any suspicious persons or behavior to Lieutenant Krumholtz at the U.S. Naval Office located at 1811 St. Mary's Branch. Is that the recruitment office? I'm betting it is. Ah, it's a mystery. It is. It's very Scooby-Doo-ish. Alright, so... Would have been on this guy's computer then? Oh, wait. Yeah, we already checked out the safe. Yeah, we were already in here. Alright. Oh, here we go. Feel Aha! Cool. Yep. Yep. Oh, Yang capture slash transfer. There we go. Local community informants provided intelligence leading to the capture and arrest of a priority person of interest, Wan Yang, a.k.a. Five Claw Dragon. Yang is on file with DIA, DIA as a Chinese intelligence field agent operating within America and Canada over the past decade. Yang has been transferred to Turtle Dove Detention Camp for interrogation. Our office has so far declined comments to press and diplomats. Please have DOD real relations advice regarding a public statement. All right, well, we need to find the turtle dove, uh, what have you. Turtle dove detention center. That's Ooh. a ways up. 
That's a bit of a walk. That's a bit of a trick. That's a bit of a walk. All the way to Kurt Douglas's house. Oh my goodness. Well, you know what? What? I'd say this is a good place to end the episode. I would definitely agree with you. Come on. Oh, you. oh, oh, okay. There it goes. Thank you for watching, thank you for listening, and have a good day, everyone. Yeah, and don't get on strange boats, especially ones with paddle wheels.